Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our MCM series. So if you're not sure what that is and you haven't seen the previous videos, then please go ahead and do so. Otherwise, this one's not going to make an awful lot of sense. So today we are going to be going through conditions. And what I mean by that is when you load up your MCM, we are going to lock out certain things in the menu until you've met the conditions. So it could be something like an object needs to be enabled or a global variable needs to be changed. So let's get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and loaded up the creation kit and I've head along to my test cell. Although this is a different test cell and ESP entirely because I kind of lost the other one when I did a system reinstall. But we have this pretty much set up how we had it before. And we're going to go into character and quest as usual and type in MCM. Go back to our MCM quest that we're usually working with. Go to the scripts and edit the source. And as I usually do with these videos, I'm just going to pretty much guide you through the changes, let you know what's what, how things work. So what we want to do is when the lighting is turned off, we want to stop the player from being able to change the banners. Because logically, if you wanted to hang some banners up, you're going to need some lighting so that you can see. So as soon as you turn the lighting on, the MCM, when you back out and come back in, is going to recognize that the lighting is now on and it's going to unlock the option and allow you to change the banners. Now, I'm not saying that that's the only condition that you can have in your mod. Of course, you can have this to whatever conditions you want. For Cranthia Tower Reborn, I have certain options that only become available once the tower has been discovered, for example. So you, you pretty much get creative and choose your own conditions. Now, in terms of the actual scripting conditions, I'm going to be getting is enabled basically so it's going to go lighting is enables if that's enabled it's going to be available if not it's not going to be available now you can do something different you could be getting the state of a global variable saying that it's on one instead of zero you can be doing anything so you've really got to get pretty creative with this so first of all we're going under the event on page reset this is where we pretty much have the layout of the page and all it is is we're going to show the option as usual whether the lighting's on or off but it's either going to be faded out or selectable so pretty simple and this is going to be quite interesting as well because usually we add a menu option for a banner selection but it's just going to appear like a dead option now so under my cell design, I have a new integer here. This is for flag banners. You just name them after flag. It's much easier. I know it's going to get a little confusing, flag and banner, but basically it's more like a toggle sort of flag, so it's on or off. Uh, you just need to state that first as an integer. So int, flag, and then whatever you want to state it as. And then we've got our usual stuff here. And all I've done is I've changed this to an if statement now. So if DF127X lights is enabled, then it's going to change the way that it lays this option out. And as usual, you need to make sure that all this is in the right order to make sure things show up on your MCM where you want. In this case, it is the other options appear after this. So I have flag banners equals option flag none. Now, option flag none, this is basically going to make sure that it's available. And option flag disabled is going to make it not available. So that's the flag being stated here. So this flag, is it available? Is it not? Basically, is it going to be flagging it as selectable or not? And then we just go iban equals add menu option, banner style, banner list, same as usual. That's the line that we had before. But it just changes a little bit when you get down to this part here. We don't include the i band because we don't actually need that at all because we're not toggling anything we're not changing any options so there's no point in actually stating the option in there we just want a dead sort of option there that doesn't do anything so we don't need to state one if that makes sense so we've just got add menu option it's not actually linked to anything and banner style banner list same as usual but this time it's just going to have flag banner state on the end so it's going to be copying whatever state that's currently at and before we place that in it's stating that it's disabled so that is going to gray out dead simple so all you have to do is that for various options so let's say we had the same sort of restriction on one of these we would do the same we'd have an if statement and stating what needs to be true and then we would just be changing this so we'd remove the i crates have it as add option value state on the end could be a different flag could use the same flag and like i say long as it's all in the right order it should be fine so that's roughly how that works hope that makes sense and i'm going to go in the game and i'm going to show you exactly what it does okay so here we are inside of our test cell and i'm just going to go to our mcm menu now because i lost the files we don't actually have the nice little image that we usually had before but that doesn't matter for this video and I've gone to cell design and as you can see we've got banner style and it's got it where you'd usually have it listed but you cannot click on it. It's greyed out. 
which is exactly what we want. And that's because the lighting's currently off. So what we're going to do is toggle the lights on. Now, unfortunately, because of the way that MCM works, it's not going to instantly recognize and recheck the page. So what you have to do is turn on the lights. We'll come out the MCM. The lights come on. And now we can see to change our banner. So it's on the Nord one. Go back into our menu. And now it's going to run that check again. It's going to go, OK, the lighting's on. So this is now available. And we'll click on here. And we can now change our banner. So I'm going to go to Stormcloak. Banner's changed. And there we go. And if you really wanted, you could probably include that in the tooltips saying that banners are only going to be available once you have the lighting on. And that's where you use what we did in the last video. So yeah, you'll start to mix all this stuff up that you learn and you'll make a pretty fancy MCM system. So yeah, and just to show you, the same sort of thing goes with Corinthia Tower Reborn. So if I go into here and I go to personalization, I've got a load of options that only become available once the tower has been discovered and a few different things in here so you can get really creative as well and have that say different things when you load up you can do all sorts so some of this other stuff we'll learn in other videos so it's as simple as that and that's it for another creation kit tutorial video so i hope you found it useful please let me know in the comments section below you can of course check me out on my website at www.darkfox127.co.uk and also the links for various things like my social media will be on there. Facebook's where I post most of my stuff. And you can, of course, go ahead and check me out on Twitch, where I'm currently working on Corinthia Tower Reborn at the time of this video. And if you want to keep up with when I'm streaming live, then you can follow my Steam group and you'll get an instant notification if that's something that you're interested in. And also hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.